Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Hibbert. Welcome back to 3-Minute Therapy. Today we're talking about postpartum depression and the truth about it. First of all, let's talk about the facts. Postpartum depression is pretty common. It affects up to 15 to 20% of all postpartum women and as many as 10 to 15% in pregnancy. That means as many as one in five women will experience postpartum depression in their lifetime. And that doesn't include all the other forms of disorders, the baby blues, anxiety disorders, those types of things. This is a very common disorder. So women, you may feel like you're alone, but let me tell you this, you're definitely not alone. Now, the symptoms can look like similar, similar to a regular depression. Weepiness, sadness, feeling overwhelmed, um, difficulty sleeping, changes in appetite. Also, it can include other symptoms we don't normally see in a regular depression, like great anxiety, worry, distress, and even anger or frustration. These things are common for postpartum depression, so if you're experiencing these symptoms, then help yourself by getting out and getting some help, getting the right diagnosis. That's really important to getting the treatment that you need, and mothers, you're definitely not to blame. There are so many different reasons why these disorders happen. Mothers want to feel well, they want to be their best, and then they're faced with these symptoms that are very overwhelming and it can lead to a lot of feelings of guilt and feeling like I'm not a good enough mom. And that's the truth, isn't it? A lot of us feel that way when we experience postpartum depression. But the truth is there are many reasons why this may be happening. Number one, hormones in your body. Your body's been through this crazy experience called pregnancy and childbirth and now you're in this recovery period. So go easy on yourself. Your hormones have been at their highest level ever and plummeted down below normal and it takes a long time to really get back and adjust. So if you know you're a woman who is sensitive to changes in hormones, then definitely you're gonna be at higher risk for some emotional symptoms or postpartum depression after the baby's born. Also sleep deprivation, oh my goodness. No one can understand how tired you are after you have a baby until you're there, right? Well, if you're sensitive to sleep loss like I am, then unfortunately you're probably gonna have a harder adjustment time but get as much sleep as you can. And other factors too, if you have a supportive family and partner or husband, then you're, at a, you're gonna have an easier time. But if you're having relationship difficulties or struggles, that's another risk factor. Or other life stress in your life that can compound it, all of these things make it very difficult after a baby is born. And not, not to mention just adjusting to becoming a parent or becoming a parent again and relationships and roles and how does all that work? Oh my goodness, there's so much to it. So again, mothers, you're not to blame. Finally, you will be well. I personally became an expert on postpartum depression because I've been through it four times. The first time I tried to seek out help, this was 17 years ago, and my doctor sent me a pamphlet about the baby blues and said, ah, everybody feels that way, it's no big deal. Well, I lived on the floor of my mother and father's house with my husband and baby for three months trying to get well on my own. It was a rough time. But times have changed and improved, and even though there are still some, some barriers to getting treatment, treatment is out there, and there are some great experts to help you get the treatment you need. My fourth experience was a lot more complicated. In fact, I wrote my whole memoir, This Is How We Grow, about that time of my life because I had so many other factors in my life. But I knew by then the importance of support, family support, <clears throat> using friends, letting others help you, and also therapy. Therapy is wonderful to help you understand what you're going through and to teach you some new coping strategies. And even medication as needed is a great resource as well as others. So you are not alone, you are not to blame, you will be well. That's the truth about postpartum depression. Visit my website, drchristinahibbert.com for more on this topic.